recording is possible. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Art 196, Introduction to Designing Web Graphics, the Fall Semester 2021. I want to continue today with, on the, with the theme of um, adding interactivity to your website. Um, what we'll be using today is called the WOW Slider. Um, it's a free application available from the same people who make MobiRise, the application that we use to design a website. Um, if you wish to pay for WOW Slider, one of the benefits that you'll receive is that you don't have to have their little logo in the lower right hand corner. But um, as long as you're using it for free, um, you give them a little bit of free advertising there. So that's what I've done. And that's what you're looking at. <clears throat> There's, there are several WOW sliders that I have on my website. This is the one that I've used for um, the, our classes, um, samples of student work. Um, also, if you go to um, under Kirk Miller Art and you look at my, for example, artwork or new artwork, um, I have slideshows of it. Um, I've used the same uh, style for each one, and they offer, as you'll see in a few minutes, a variety of templates available to you that you can edit and um, modify significantly. Um, you'll notice the little buttons little along the top here. They, um, when you hover over them, they provide a thumbnail of the slide. And if you want to go directly to that slide, you can by just simply hovering over it and clicking and going, and it will jump to that. We also have forward and backward buttons that you have as a choice. You don't have to have them. Um, and I also have a pause button. And then when you move out, so when you hover over the, the slideshow, they appear. When you um, mouse out, then they disappear. And then it automatically slides from one to the next. Okay. You can also pause it. And then you can go ahead and you can go from one slide to the next. And even when you um, mouse out, um, it will stay on that slide. Okay, And then you just simply go back and click the play button and it will go back again. Now, again, you can choose to have these components added to your slideshow or not. Um, and then the one last thing is that we have a little description bar down here. And you, again, these are all optional. The, the slideshow can play um, by itself. Um, you can also link to YouTube videos if you wish. All of mine happen to be still images that I show. Um, in addition to that, one of the things that you need to know is that when you do use the WOW slider and you use um, still images, they need to be prepared in a program like Photoshop. They all need to be the same size. Um, there are a number, as you'll see in a moment, when we go into the WOW slider, that um, there are a number of presets available to you, or you can create custom sizes if you wish. Okay, but all of the slides need to be the same. Now, even though you may see a vertical image, you'll notice that I have created in the background um, a, a blurred component of that image um, to make sure that they're all the same size. If I go to Kurt's classes, for example, and we look at this one, even though this is vertical, um, there is a white background that is a part of that slide, okay? And I think that makes it easier. If they're all the same size, I think you'll get better results. Um, they don't have to be horizontal. They can, it can be a vertical slideshow. It's entirely up to you. So let's go ahead and take a look. And then I will show you when we're done with the slideshow how to um, publish it and then put it inside your, um, your web page. Uh, there are a variety of ways of doing it, and I'm going to show you the way that I that I use it. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're looking right now at Wow Slider. When you open it up, it doesn't look 
like a whole lot. There aren't like Moby Rise, there aren't any instructions for this. It's simply drag and drop, it's hover. It's um it's pretty straightforward and very easy to use. You'll see in the upper left hand corner here, when we look at that, that's if I want to open a project, if I want to save a project, if I want to add images to this project and save it. Um, there's also here, here what prod, uh, properties do the project have, does it have? If you want to save as an HTML file, you can do that. If you want to export it and publish it, that's what we'll be doing here. We're going to publish it locally and then insert it into um, a Dreamweaver page. So um, let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm, I've already prepared the slides. Let's go ahead and add them. So to do that, I'm going to click on this plus button here. And I can say add images individually, or I can add images from a folder. And if I've already prepared all of the images in a folder, I can just simply select that. Now that's what I've done. I've selected all of these. So let's go back to that's the, those are the wow slider assets. So I'm going to go back into my heart external hard drive here. And I'm going to select um, let's see. I'm going to select um, let's select the fine art folder. Okay. And if I go ahead and I open it, it should open, and it does, it opens all of the slides in that folder. So these are the slides to the left. If you decide later that you want to get rid of one or more of them, let's say I want, I don't want this one anymore, you select it, and then just select the minus button, and it's gone. If you wish to change the order of the slides, then you can click and drag and move it wherever you like. And that changes the order of it. If you wish to add, you can either add from here or you can add from this button and add individual slides. Notice that it has already um, started a slideshow with um, a default template. Now the size of the template is not working for us. So I'm gonna move this over here because the size of the slides that I created are 640 by 480. And you'll notice that the default slide size that they created was 640 by 360. Um, again, if you know in advance which of these sizes work for you, then you would wanna create your um, images in advance in Photoshop. So I know that mine are 640 by 480, so I'm gonna change that and that they will fit much better. Um, the next thing that you want to do in the right hand side here is decide <clears throat> which of the templates that you want to use. And you just click any of them and it will automatically switch to that template. And you can check for yourself to see which one works best for you and is most appropriate for your website or for a client's website. Okay. Um, I like the ones that I like are probably the most uh, um, understated, um, you know, that are very simple so that they showcase the slides and not the slideshow itself. So this is a pretty good one. I've just selected bootstrap. So why not use it? So we're going to use that template. The next thing is that to decide is um, which of the transitions do you want? And again, if you want something that's really kind of, um, uh, you know, fun, illustrative, here's the first one that we have that's turn. Um, if you want, you know, louvers, you can do that. If you want cube over, there's that one. The one that I like the best is probably just blur. It's just a simple blur from one to the next. Again, so that it doesn't, the transition itself doesn't overpower the slideshow. But again, in some instances, uh, various uh, more kind of um, illustrative or what can I say? Um, I can't, they're not over the top, but they're more uh, pronounced. Um, types of transitions would probably be appropriate. 
So that's the one that I'll use for there. So we have down here, you'll notice that what it does for the, the titles of each of these is that it takes from the name itself um, of the slide and it applies it. But if you want to change that, then what you do is you'll notice down here, what, let's start with the, the, the first one here. This is the first one. This one, the title is black and gray square cock. Okay. So if I want to change the name of it, maybe I want to just get rid of this six by four seventy two, and just leave that. And let's do the same with the others. So if you've already named your files um, the way that you want them, then this would be a pretty good way of doing that. Then you don't have to, that much to do. Um, we can go to the um, next one. So let's go to that one. Is this the one? Um, or let's go to the birdhouse one. And let's click in there. And I'm just going to say fragile birdhouse. Okay. So when that pops up, and if I select this one, you just you have to select the slides to the left. And this is natural. And we'll go ahead and I'll get rid of the those. And I'll just go through all of them real quick because we're going through this exercise pretty quickly. So let me start at the top again. So that's faded. If you have a URL that you want to link to this, you can. And again, this provides the title. If you want a description, then you can add that over here. Um, I recommend um, titles and brief descriptions, perhaps if, it, if it's important that the size of your artwork be listed or the materials that are used. Um, So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead, find our new work. Okay. And let's select this one. And that was that one that I selected. This one was the fragile bird, birdhouse. This one is natural. So I'm just going to do titles for right now. And this is staples. So we'll go ahead and that's the title of that one. And the next one, Susan um, Masterman. We'll go ahead and so as it's playing in front of us, you're not going to see the changes until, yeah, there you go, Fragile Birdhouse that popped up. And then text art. Uh, we'll just leave it these names for right now since that helps us. And then we have this one, Wayward Fonds. And I think that's all of them. Okie doke. So we've titled them. You'll notice down at the bottom here, you can place these little buttons at the bottom or the top. There's a variety of styles that are available for you. And where you find those okay, is under More Settings at the bottom. So when we do that, you can see at the top here, here is the template that we've chosen, and it's giving us a preview down here. We've chosen the slide size. I've chosen 640 by 480. I want to make sure that the aspect ratio is preserved. Um, I'll have stretch for small images, but um, you normally really don't want to do that. You want to make sure that all of the images that you have prepared are the correct size in advance. If it stretches them, it will distort them and you may not get the desired look. Um, image fill color, um, we have black in the back. Image quality, we want to be fairly high. Um, template color, I'm leaving it white. Um, the font uh, th that I've chosen is just Helvetica, that works. You can change the size if you wish. I'm using 24 point. And again, the, tra um, the transition I've chosen is blur. You can also determine the delay between slides. I'm just leaving these default, two seconds. Effect duration, two seconds. Okay. 
So we have all of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply everything there. Um, let's go ahead and look at a few more things here. Let's go and let's look up here where it says properties. If I click on that, again, it gives us similar kinds of um, uh, tools to decide what we want to do. So for example, I want this to autoplay the, the slideshow. So I'll add that. I want it to pause on mouse over. Um, I don't want it to stop after one loop. I'll just let it go. If you want to randomize the order, you can do that. Um, I do want a pause and play button. Um, I want swipe support because these slideshows do really work well um, on a smartphone. Okay, they work very nicely so that when you have a touch screen that works. We're using the default page color of white. Um, there's other features here. We can say, you know, if you want, if you've added an, a video, you can um, auto play the video if you wish or not. I'm using the box here. If you wanted it full screen or full width, you can apply that. Um, then these to the right um, says, I wanna show controls on mouse over, okay? Um, show preview and next buttons, yes. Show descriptions, yep. Do I want um, parallax or maybe I don't want any um, movement at all, or maybe I just want Fade. I want them to fade. Um, we can try that, or I'll just say none for right now. Um, here's where I was talking about the bullets that are at the top or the bottom. Right now, the navigation but, um, bullets are at the bottom. If you would rather have them at the top, you can do that. Or you have what is called a film strip. So if I were to select film strip, you can select whether you want at the top, bottom, left, or right. So I'll leave it at the bottom at the moment and I'll apply and you'll see what that looks like. So here are the preview buttons down there. Instead of the little um, bullets, you have that as an option. So I'm gonna go back and change that. I'm just gonna leave the bullets at the bottom like so. So let's go back and um, instead of I'll use, there you go. And I click here and it's, just immediately um, puts it back up, okay? So we have black for the background. You know what, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna go back. Instead of black, I'm going to use white. So, um, hold on here. Let's go back to design. Yeah, image fill color. Um, I'm just gonna leave this uh, white. Let's see if that, how that works. There we go. That's what I'm using instead, okay? So now that we, you know, you have a variety of templates from which to choose. You also have um, uh, your choice of how you want the end user to navigate through this. Um, and you also have um, type choices and you know it, a, a lot of different things that are just, you click and test them and it updates immediately. And you're able to um, get a pretty good indication of what this is gonna look like when you're done. So the next step is to save this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this file inside my root folder. That's where um, it can be pretty tricky when you go to publish it. So I'm gonna save it inside my lesson 12 folder since that's where we're going to insert this. So I want to go to, to the um, slider and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say save project as, okay? Then I have to root through my desktop here and find um, my lessons, here's the, the Dreamweaver lessons here. Now I'm gonna go to lesson 12 and I'll save it as slideshow. Well, I'll call it wow slideshow 
um, fall 2021, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. So that's saved. So now I'm ready to publish it. Um, and then when I publish it, it will publish it locally to where it's saved. And then there are various ways that you have to insert it into your page. And I'm gonna show you um, some of the ways that if I click here, it says insert the page, um, it's gonna ask you what page to insert it. I don't wanna do it this way. I like copying and pasting it. So let's go to the publish settings right up here to the right. So it says publish to folder, that's what I want. So what I wanna do now is I'll use the page name and um, it's gonna be wow slider um, fall 2021. Okay, that's gonna be the, the page name. And then um, where I want this to be published is I'm going to publish it um, inside the root folder that I just specified. So let's go back to desktop. Let's go back to my Dreamweaver folder. Come on. Let's go ahead and open that. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Um, Oh, it's frozen. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Mr. Bill, that's not good. Let me pause my recording for a minute. Okay, so I've had to restart it. Let's try to publish this again. Let's go back. I want to browse to make sure that the correct folder is selected. So I'm going to my desktop. I'm going to, there we go. I'm going to make sure that lesson 12 is selected since that is my root folder. Okay, so that's where I want it published. And I want it to be, again, wow slider fall 2021. Okay. You can also publish to FTP, an FTP server. You can insert it directly into a page if you wish. You can use Joomla modules. You can use a WordPress slider. Share on Facebook. Publish to Google Drive. Don't use any of these. But an important um, aspect of this is, is that each of these slideshows has an ID. Right now, because it is the first slideshow I've created, it has an ID of one. When this is published, you will get two additional folders that come with this that you need to make sure that are uploaded um, from your, um, your root folder to make sure that it works. Um, one has all of the images in it, and the other one has the code, um, the JavaScript, um, or actually, um, what is it? It's, um, anyway, the code to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. And I'm happy with the slideshow. Everything, you know, is working okay here. And then the next thing is that I do want to publish it. So I'll go ahead and I'll publish. And you have to click this little button right here. And when it publishes, it will give us a preview in um, a browser. And then it will give us the code that we need to insert into our page. And that's where it, gets, it can get a little tricky if you're not careful. So um, let's go ahead and publish it. And it's published, and there we go. It's showing up in my browser. 
you can see that it's up here at the top and I can, you know, go from one slide to the next. I can pause it, I can move out, and I can, when I hover over it, I can go from one to the next. You know, check to make sure all of your, your, um, your text doesn't have any um, uh, misspellings or anything. But then what you want to do, and this is what I was talking about, you're gonna have dat a data one folder that you need to upload, and you're going to have an engine one folder that you also need to upload. And they will be found wherever you save your file, which happens to be inside a root folder. Two pieces of code that we need to insert into a page. There is this part that goes into the head of our document. So if I click in here, you can see it's all highlighted. That goes into the head to make sure that the jQuery, that's what I was thinking of, um, which is the um, works and to make sure your slideshow functions. The one down here is inserted directly inside the page itself. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to copy this code. And I'll have to come back to this. Now I'm going to go to Dreamweaver here and I'm going to create a new fold a new file. Um, new, and this is going to be from our template. So my green template. Now, if you recall in here that since I have to insert this code in the head of the document, um, it's locked. And so in order to do that, I need to um, detach this from the template as we've done before. So I'll go to design view and I'll go to tools. And I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to say detach um, from template. Okay, now I can go in the code view. And once that's detached, here is the closing tag for the head. So just before that closing tag, I'm going to hit the return key a couple of times. Now I'm going to paste that code that. Um, the instructions that it provided for us from the wow slider. The next thing that I'm ready to do is I'm going to go back here and I hope everybody can see this is I'm going to click inside where it says the content of the that we need to paste and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to my page here and then decide where do I want to add that where it says add content here that's where i want to put it i want to put it in the main article right here so right after that paragraph tag but before the end of the article so that it's contained in that group i'm going to go ahead and command v to paste okay so it should all be in here let's go back again and let's go to live view and there it is it seems to be working just fine. So now what we can do, and if we look over here in our local files, you can see that I've done this before, but what you need to do is you need to make sure that when you upload everything, that you don't need to upload the WOW slider file, but you do need to upload, and let's find those folders here. I told you that there's data one, and engine one. These folders need to be uploaded as well. Okay. Now it was it was critical that I save this file inside my root folder because they are linked rel relatively to the to these folders. If they lie outside of that, then you need to make sure that the um, and I wouldn't do that, but you would need to make sure that um, that anyway the the files are, are linked properly to it so that it can find it. Um, and it just, I don't have to worry about that right now. So let's test this in, in a browser and see how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my file. So I'm gonna do save as, and it'll be inside my root folder. And I'm gonna go name it wow slider test. Um, 
fall 2021. Okay. And it's again, it's saved inside lesson 12 because I haven't saved that, that yet. Now, what I may want to do is wrap this whole thing inside. You will notice that there isn't much space here. Um, no, it is looking okay. Maybe what I did with the footer is, that, you know, because I don't like things really butt up against the edge, is that I added margins to the footer to make sure that it worked. Okay, so let's test this inside um, real time preview. Let's test it inside. Let's try Firefox. Now, see, it says that I didn't save all the files. So I thought I saved them all. So let's come back and let's make sure that they are all saved. Okay, so let's go to file, save all. Okay. That's not good. There we go. So they're all saved. Let's try again. Let's go to file, real time preview. I'm going to try Safari this time. And it doesn't like it yet. So it says that it saved all files, including related files, to preview. Okay, so I thought I had saved everything. Maybe I haven't. Let's go to um, try again. And let's go to um, here. Let's make sure that everything here is saved. Let's go to wow slider. Let's go ahead and save project. So that's done. Let's go back again and let's try again. Again, it's best to, to try to save it in preview first and preview it and make sure that it's working. And then um, you can go ahead and check it out and, and upload it. I'm sure it will work right now if I were to publish it, but um, I've had you know, a lot of experience with this, but let's go ahead and try again. No, it doesn't like it. So I'm not, I'm getting a question mark here. Um, let's see. Okay, well, um, sadly, I cannot preview this today. So I'll see what happens. Um, let me pause my recording for a second. Okay, so what I did um, to make it work in the preview in here is that I just simply close the file, open it back up, and now it's previewing um, in a browser just fine. Um, the only thing that I would want to change, and this is something that I pointed out, I thought that, um, you know, I really don't like the idea of the slideshow, but right up against the footer. So there is one thing that I can do to change that. I could either wrap the slideshow in a section tag, and I could add to the bottom of that margins, or I could change the settings of the footer. I'm probably just going to go ahead and change the settings of the footer and add maybe 15, 20 pixels to that, and let's see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. Let's try again. So I'm going to switch to CSS Designer. I'm going to make sure that I have green styles selected and that I want, um, let's go to the footer. So let's click down here. I'll just global settings and I want footer. There's the footer. And let's go ahead and you can see that we have padding, but we don't have anything um, added to the um, margins. So maybe to the top of the margins of this, I'll go ahead and I'll add 
I'm going to be a little bit generous. So I'm going to say 20 pixels. And when I scroll up, you can see that there's quite a bit of distance now between the footer and the bottom. And I can probably, you know, like I say, add a section tag all the way around the, um, the slideshow, which wouldn't be a bad idea to isolate it. So let me try again now that I've closed that and I've saved everything. Let's go ahead and real, do a real time preview again in Safari. Let's see if that changes. There you go. See, just a little bit of a margin along the bottom there. Um, gives a little bit of space. And again, if I, you know, if I hover over it, it will stop playing it. And it's slowing it down. And you have a nice little slideshow. I found them to be, you know, quite nice. The only downside is that if you don't like the, the word wow slider in the lower right hand corner, then you do need to buy it. And that will um, eliminate that as a problem for you. Um, but I found them to be quite efficient. Um, they work really well, and they work especially well um, for responsive websites that um, if you preview it, the, my slideshow on a, a smartphone, um, vertical or horizontal, they work really, really well. So I'm kind of pro uh, wow slider a lot. Now, another thing that you can do too, that I don't know that we need to add to this, but um, not today anyway, but um, something that I have incorporated in my own personal website over here, that if we go to my homepage, um, I added a carousel and in Dreamweaver, you can add carousels that these are bootstrap components. That this is something that if you would like to do, we can touch on that um, in next week. After today, we only have two more weeks. So um, one of the things that I was gonna cover in the next week or two is if you wanna add a favicon, the little icons that will appear in the tabs of your browser and then also um, check in with everybody to make sure that you're capable of and successful in publishing your lessons and your Dreamweaver website. Okay, that's really critical um, for the final, um, before we um, finish up the last um, uh, couple weeks of the class and before the semester ends. Okay. So that's it for today. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing your Dreamweaver websites and I'm hopeful that um, you um, include a wow slider for your slideshows. That would be really nice for your, you know, for those of you who want to publish um, your portfolios. Um, anyway, um, to repeat one important thing, though, is that just remember with the wow slider that when you do publish it, when you go to publish, that if you have more than one wow slider, then you need to remember to assign a separate ID to each one and make sure that the files are saved to your root folder and that that's that you upload in addition to that um, the folders that come with it. So that if I may come back here, let's go back over here and let's look at the files that you include the engine folder and the data folder. And you'll notice that this, because I only have one slideshow and this that I've shown you today, it's data one and engine one. For, for each slideshow that you'll have, you'll have different folders for each. And you wanna make sure that they're um, numbered differently. Okay. I think I've hit on all the main points and luckily everything is working well today. Um, and we've had success, so we're good to go. Okay, so um, that's it today. Um, you are welcome to leave and I'm gonna say goodbye and I'm gonna pause the recording here. And I will have this published on uh, YouTube shortly. Okay, bye-bye.